G'day everyone, it's Jason here from Coastal Asbestos, uh, the Gold Coast number one asbestos removal company. And today I want to talk to you about who can actually remove asbestos and who can't. Um, one of the big myths that I want to dispel right from the start is asbestos removal um, training is not part of your standard tradesman, trade school stuff. So if you're a plumber or you're a carpenter or your tile or whatever says, yeah, 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 I'm good for asbestos, it's part of my trade. In trade school, they do talk about it, but they don't give you the qualifications. So it's a separate qualification that's provided by an RTO, and that's a registered trade organization. And that ensures um, the training is, is level across Australia. Different states have different uh, modules that they require you to do, but on whole, your asbestos training is national, is a, to a national standard. So there's two classes of asbestos removal and there's an, and there's an abyssus license as well. So let's just start with the basic stuff. So to be, get, to be able to get an asbestos removal um, ticket, um, the B class removal ticket, you must have your um, trade, whatever your state requires, it's a um, like an industry induction card, safety induction card. That's a bare minimum. Then you can get your B class ticket. Now that's that's a course that goes in all of non friable asbestos removal. So it's just the bonded stuff. Um, and then the next course is the A class supervisors ticket. Uh, sorry, the A class removal ticket, and that's for your friable asbestos. Um, that's uh, it's not as common as non friable stuff. It's not something we do here. Um, although all of our guys currently work for us have got A-class competencies, we don't do the work. It's really important that we understand what is friable and what's friable. Um, there's certain things that are classified as friable and um, some non friable asbestos can become friable. Um, we'll go back into that a little bit later. So what's really important to understand is you must have a B-class ticket or an A-class ticket. And then the business itself must have a, a, an asbestos removal business license. So it's not good enough that if you're, if you're a carpenter or you're a tiler or, um, you know, whoever's or your roofer says, oh, yeah, I've got my B-class ticket. The business must have an asbestos removal license as well. Asbestos is a highly regulated industry and the way that they regulate this industry is by issuing licenses and you get to keep your license as long as you follow conditions, exactly like a driver's license or anything out. And it's a way that the industry is being formalized. So check, you know, do you have, what's your business license? Can I see your B class ticket? Can I see your A class ticket? You know, then there's A-class supervisors, B-class supervisors. But what's really important to understand is make sure that the person who is doing the work in your family home or your workplace is actually qualified and ticketed. And then we get on to insurance. Because unless they're qualified or ticketed, they cannot get asbestos-related insurance. So what commonly happens you know, and this would normally be sort of like a cautionary tale or be aware of this, but this happens every day. It's, it's happening right now somewhere. You'll get some guy who says, you know what, I don't need a qualification because it's under 10 square metres. Okay, there is a 10 square metre rule, but the rule says that you must be trained, you must do it under controlled conditions, and you must have the correct equipment. Now, but it is impossible for me to understand why anybody would spend $9,000 on insurance to make sure they're insured for asbestos related claims, um, buy a thousand or $1,500, $2,000 vacuum cleaner, get it checked every year, have health checks on themselves. You know, we're, we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands. We're, like minimum entry level is like eleven dollars or $12,000. Now, just because it's 10 square metres, yes, okay, they don't have to have a ticket, but they must have insurance if they're gonna work in your house. Otherwise, if, they, if, it, if, it's, if there's a contamination in your house, 
you're going to get stuck with a bill because we did the last one we did was a hundred thousand dollar loss and do you think that your little handyman or whoever you've got involved in this this job and says oh sorry mate you know oh we can get a clean up bill the first thing he's going to try and do is save himself money the first thing he's going to try and do is deflect deflect and then he's going to say you know oh well that's the way it is and I see this all the time. We're in constantly cleaning up after guys who don't know what they're doing. You know, we see this all the time. The, the 10 square meter rule is primarily designed for people like um, plumbers that have to cut a pipe, you know, just a small section of pipe for, for electricians that may have to like drill a hole or remove, remove a shed, you know, so that they can put a light in or something like that. It's not designed for someone to come in and say, well, you know, I can do 10 square metres a day, so I'm going to do this wall today, this wall today, and that wall tomorrow. That's not what it's designed for, and that's not legal. It's 10 square metres per project, okay? And it doesn't work per guy either. So if someone rocks up to your house and you say, what about the 10 square metres? They go, oh, there's, there's, there's three of us. We're all going to do 10 square metres each. It's not right. I think what you need to understand, and I think what I've tried to stress the importance of for everything, every video that we do, all of our content, all of our advertising is asbestos removal is dangerous. It shouldn't be messed with. Asbestos removal is a dangerous, dangerous profession. We're in a highly regulated industry. It's a high risk business. And we take this seriously. Like our mission is to eradicate asbestos related disease in Australia. We don't take that lightly. We've aligned with the Asbestos Safety and Eradication Agency, their four pillars, that's part of their national strategic plan. That's what our business is about. That's what we've done voluntarily. Nobody had to do it. Nobody forced us to do that. We did that because we believe that if we follow the four pillars of the national strategic plan of identification, awareness, proper asbestos removal and education. That's what this business is all about. There are plenty of people out there like us, coastal asbestos, that are in this game to do the right thing. The problem is there are plenty of trades and handyman and, and like God knows who else who just see this as an opportunity to make money. Sure, this is a business. But everything in life that you do, you must have a purpose. You've got to stand for something. And what we stand for is to keep people safe from asbestos so that we can help eradicate asbestos-related disease. And if you're a guy that you're talking to or someone who thinks it's just harmless, it's just a sheep, well, they're wrong. It means they're not taking it seriously, which means if they don't take their own health and safety seriously, how the hell are they even going to care? about you and your family. You know, this stuff just drives me wild. There are thousands of asbestos removal companies in Australia. Reputable, hardworking, honest people that just like us are in the fight. Please do not trust your asbestos removal to some sort of cowboy he thinks it's okay, that will make jokes as an arts blah. You know, it's not. It's literally a life and death situation. So make sure you check the licenses, make sure you check the, the insurances and just have a bit of a chat and sound this guy out and see if he understands the danger of the asbestos that he's playing around with. Because if he's playing around with it, he's not your guy. You know, we're, we're located in Arundel on the Gold Coast. I'm personally up and down the coast all day. You know, I've literally got nothing better to do they come and see you, come and talk to you. And we're more than happy to come and quote every job, no matter how big or small it is, because we believe that it's our job to keep you safe from asbestos. So that's it for me today. I just can't stress the importance enough. I know it's a bit heavy then. Um, but if you like this video, there's more videos like it over at our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching today. It's Jason from Coastal Asbestos. See you guys.